It's time for the Gizwiz with Matt's Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1743, recorded Thursday, August 29th, 2019. Our current favorite. On this episode of the Gizwiz, Dicky D has three LED inclusive gadgets. I have a new crappy corner theme, and we have a uh, what the heck is it that's very, very mysterious? We won't even know what it is! All next on The Gizwiz! It's the same damn show with Dickie D And OMG chat on your PC It's time for The Gizwiz because gadgets are his business They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease Under pathology Rows and rows of USBs Growing growing LEDs Get ready for The Gizwiz now Now! Now! Oh, and here he is, the head honcho of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How are you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing fine, sir. What is the construction guy doing there? Checking, uh, checking the ceiling. Yeah. Oh wow! You know what? They're checking. We talked about cables last week. The, <laughs> the uh, a cable worried. inspector's in. <laughs> What are you the doing, cable inspectors in said, you know what? I think uh, that's a load-bearing beam up there. I think it needs to be. Already knocked off a few things off of the oh, shelf. Oh, that's so funny. Cat, that you're too so stereotypical, funny. kitty. What are you doing? You ready that to come down funny. off of the shelf? Yeah. No. You're going <laughs> to... Okay, well, just... That's Jack, that's, that's Jack, very, Jack Yeah, that's you very funny. Yeah, some, someone on, uh, on Facebook last week posted it. If the earth was really flat, cats <laughs> would have knocked everything off by that's now. That's true. It's very, very true. I'm actually kind of yeah. worried about my prize mad magazine over here. Okay, we're going <laughs> to set you on the table. There you go, kitty cat. Uh, so it's been a week for the viewers, but for us, it's only been a few minutes between shows. Uh, exactly, uh, exactly. But uh, in order to fake it, I thought I would tell you what I pretended to do uh, from last week to this week. Oh, and nice. I sent you, I sent you a photo. Here's the evidence it was, to really confuse the audience. This is really ex- didn't happen. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, actually, we did this today. You know, last week I talked about rewiring the studio. Well, the, actually, today I replaced all of the mini Klieg lights with oh. LEDs. Oh. So I went from 600 watts to 72 watts. Nice. Well, yeah, it's great. It's great because power saver. also in the summer, you know, we all we usually shut the air conditioning off during the show. And those uh, 600 watts right over your head is a lot of heat. Yeah. So now we have LEDs that put off almost no heat. And it was uh, easy to do. And I love those little lights. I couldn't find them anywhere. And then I thought, wait a minute, because I needed two more. I thought, wait a minute. I think I bought two extras and put them in Dick's Gadget Warehouse, and they were there. <laughs> nice, very good. So, yeah, it's very good. You, I, we should have just gone and raided the Twit Studio because they got all sorts of LEDs and fluorescents. Oh, I and bet. That was you know, did they use coolest. Bond doors at, at Twit? A little. Oh, they, they do. Used all oh, sorts of stuff. They, they. Oh, okay. They um, back when I was there, and I was there at the uh, the the Brick House, not the East Side Studios. Um, but when I was there, they had almost every type of light you could have, other than traditional tungsten. They actually did have two of those too, but uh, they so they, it was mostly fluorescent, some LED, um, all, and so some would have barn doors. Especially some of the Kino Flow stuff uh, used a lot of bar- barn doors because it's a very soft light, and so if you're trying to get your light in some sort of direction, especially a Kino Flow is just a big bulb it's just a big uh fluorescent bulb and it's nice for a nice soft light but if you want to kind of direct the light and you have a kino flow you just need a lot of it and then uh you kind of set it far away to kind of get a more spectral light instead of a diffused light so um so we did all sorts of techniques in the uh brick house um yeah, so yeah. Great. i mean i even have i have one light that kind of has some barn doors on it. That's my key far, far over there. And then everything else, I just use soft boxes um, in this studio for, you know, all my stuff. I, could, I guess I could try to show you. I don't 
let's see if it'll, I think I've set my uh, <laughs> camera gain a little too high <laughs> in order to show it off, but we can change this real fast. Um, this is the lighting situation that I have in this studio is uh, these are the soft boxes that I use. So this is just a... Now, soft boxes are like panel lights? Is that like... <clears throat> Not really. This is a... Here, I'm just going to unplug it from the um, plug here so you can actually see it. Inside of this box is going to just be a whole bunch of uh, big fluorescent... Oh, my gosh. Pieces. Oh, my gosh. And so it's a big... So untechy and... I, yeah, exactly. Wow. Exactly. You had me fooled. Exactly. It's the cheapest, most effective studio light that wow. I've found. Because um, what you really want, especially in, th in this sort of situation where we are in a studio and we can really control the space and distance that the light is from away from you, if you're on location, you might want something that's, that's directed, that is... You might have to fit into a corner of a room or something, but here I can kind of plan everything out. So really all I need is soft light. I, that's kind of the only thing that is required. It'll make me look good and whatnot. Um, and the cheapest solution for soft light is to get a kind of a, just a j basic light and then put a soft box around it and it'll create this filter of, of soft light. The other nice thing to do with when it comes to soft light is get it as close to your subject as possible. Do you know about, this is, I'm, I might be getting a little too technical, but I know the Gizmo's audience loves this type of conversation, but you know the inverse square law of light? No. Which is basically I've further... probably broken it a couple times, <laughs> but I, unknowingly. You've broken uh, light speed? What? Um, which is basically that the further you get away, like let's say you move a foot, away from a light, your light will decrease. That second foot that you get away, it'll decrease by twice as much. So the further oh. you get away, the, the, the further the light decreases. Well, that's also true with soft light because the closer you are to what diffuses the light, um, the further away you get from that diffused light, it's gonna become more and more straight. So you're gonna get those really nice soft shadows if your diffuser is like right here, but the more you move it away, uh, it's going to become more harsh because it's not scattered anymore. It's kind of all now going in one direction. So if you get a soft light closer to your subject, it looks nicer. So I have these soft boxes, like seriously, just right off camera. So I can, I'm touching it right now. And the other one I'm touching right there. So you get them as close as you can so that it's as soft as possible. There you go. Wow. Well, there We've you go. About math in two episodes? What is wrong with us? <laughs> I know. The chat, room's got, the chat room's getting very upset. We don't want to learn anything here. Yeah. What the, we came here to be entertained, we not We want taught. to be entertained. <laughs> All right. Well, I can start with a very entertaining guest. Do you, do you have anything more to say? No, I, no, I'm good. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, done with I, I, uh, A very entertaining gadget that was very inexpensive. This is it. Deal of the day. I... I buy a lot of deal of the day's things. So when I saw the flame lamp lantern, I thought, oh, I don't need another lantern until I saw the description. You may want this, all right? So this is it, very light. And you know, it can be used as a flashlight. You can hang it in the tent as a tent light, but this is the part I think you'll like. So you take the handles and bring it up. You have a nice lantern. But wouldn't it be nice to be sitting around the campfire? So then you close it. And magic, magic. Ooh. What? Wow. Now how much would you pay? I thought it was going to catch on fire. Fla fake <laughs> Flame technology. <laughs> of course. I think it's pretty neat. And so you have no, so basically every time you close it, there's no switch. Every time you close it, it just changes. Now it's the white light. You could really have fun with kids with this. And now I close it. 
What's and the magic word? The magic word <laughs> is flames ahoy! And there they are. Uh, deal of the day was 10 bucks. And it turns out that the deal of the day, well, I'm glad I found it. But on Amazon, it's just like a, a, a buck more. Okay, so on Amazon, it's fifteen ninety nine for two. Uh, we're using a different monitor today. It does say a pair, right? Uh, fifteen ninety nine plus five ninety nine shipping. Eleven bucks each if it is indeed a pair, and if it's not, I'll super on the bottom of the screen. It's two. Uh, it's it two. Just one. All right. <laughs> so once again. Training, you don't need a lot of training for this. Okay, it's flame. What's it going to come up next, Dennis? Magic Gizwiz. It's going to come up as... White. White. Wow. All right, and... Gizwiz. Oh. A flame, okay. <laughs> so, hoy matey, I'm off to work. Okay, I wish I had a master switch here. Hi-ho, hi-ho. Hi-ho, hi-ho. <laughs> back to work we go. Hi-ho, it's back to work we go. See you next week, boys and girls, here on the Gizwiz. You know, uh, Halloween's coming up. I feel like that would be the best gadget to put inside of a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, be you know, perfect. you're right. And it has to be a big jack-o'-lantern, yeah. but it's really neat. I feel like that is like the best fake flame I've ever seen. Yeah, it is really super. Now the problem is the one on Amazon. Oh, oh, it's only uh, it's still August. You probably get it by Halloween. It looks like it takes like four weeks to get it, but yeah. uh, it it's really Correct. neat. And for nine bucks each. Also, I love the name. How could you possibly pronounce H L Z Q? They're not, these Beauty. white labelers aren't even getting <laughs> creative anymore. They literally no. just smashed the keyboard. Yes, I think you're right. Hello. I think you're Hello. right. Zoo. Hello. Zoo. Uh, Hello. Yeah. I'm glad I don't uh, work there answering the phone. Hello. Hello. How much would you pay? <laughs> oh, wait, no. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, it's it not that much. Different colors too. Look at that. Yeah, it's not that much cheaper. Uh, eight no. forty. Well, uh, it's uh, two fifty cheaper. That's not bad. It does. It does ship. Uh, oh wait, from yeah. China. So you have it to It does deal ship from China. That. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, and it comes in four different colors. So look for it on. Uh, this is Alibaba, right? Yeah, this is AliExpress. Yeah, Alibaba. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's pretty neat. Wait a second, Dick. We may have to purchase this next one. This one includes a disco light at the top. Oh. <laughs> and a USB oh. thingy. And it's solar powered. This, <laughs> oh this my. is the Gizwiz gadget. Oh, it my. Oh, oh, it has the flame in it. It has the flame. It has the white light. It has a flashlight. It has a, a disco ball. <laughs> I, I'm going to Is that, gonna is that solar powered? Yeah, yes. solar powered. This is the gadget. They they watched the show and they've made the gadget. This is the one. This is, uh, I need this. I need this. <laughs> you can get it in uh, three colors. This is, we should, Dick, we talk about it all the time. This is our Indiegogo project. This is it. Yes. We got we make, have to we have to make an Indiegogo project and then we'll buy this. a thousand of them and yes. we'll sell them on Indiegogo. <laughs> That's it. Captain J, send me that link, okay? Gizwish uh mail at Gizwish show. Okay, I think send Bleak me that was link. the one who found it. Yeah, Bleak. Oh, Bleak, can you send me that that link? Oh, wait a minute. Did someone find it for three dollars and ninety sixty four cents? He says the reviews aren't oh, good. Oh, it is Bleak. Uh Yep, Bleak, send me one. that leak, okay? Uh, mail at Gizwiz Show. Oh, wait, is it? Yeah, oh. that's it. The, uh, I don't see the solar poweredness on this one. This oh, I don't care look. because I'd never use the solar powered thing. <laughs> exactly. I'm in for that, Bleak. Send me that link. That is crazy. That is that insane. Is, oh, you know, I'm, maybe I'll have it for the meetup. Maybe not, but anyway, yes. I'll order them. I that will would be order so that. Fun. We should could order a hundred and put the Gizwiz logo on them. 
<laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's great. It's great. The <laughs> chat room. I love the chat room. Um, oh my gosh. So oh. if you want it from, if you want, so, but what's interesting is the, the one from Amazon is not prime. So normally we're like, of course, buy it on Amazon. It's prime. You get free. Yeah, shipping. Exactly. No, but, but this you're isn't. right. This, so it's, no. you got to spend six bucks on shipping and you're not going to get it two days. And, and the reason we can pretend oh. this is an Indiegogo project is it took me like 40 minutes to find a place that sold this because yeah. I was not looking under camping lantern. I was just typing in <laughs> uh, um, flashlight. You didn't immediately type how <laughs> I can't <laughs> no. believe that, Dick. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> no, no, and I, I, I somehow don't think of this as a collapsible survival tool. So, yeah, yeah, me neither. I don't. The, right. <laughs> the building includes the ambiance. On, I don't think that's really that's survival. The, the building's on fire. What do you have? Well, I have my flame lamp. <laughs> this is like an old timey lantern. Oh, we're saved. Thank you. Yes. yes, I'm buying okay. it. I'm buying. That's great. And, and I, I don't want the solar panel. I'll save a ton of money. You don't need a solar panel. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> perfect. Uh, perfect. Gadget. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Here's one, not quite as dramatic, but it does use some LEG LEDs. Welcome to Backstage at Disneyland Studio. So I had some time over the weekend, and I thought I'd straighten up some cables. Are you one of those people who? When you get something new, you're very excited, and so you plug it in and run a new cable to it so you can use it right away and then forget to take the old cable out. Uh, that happened here a lot. So I removed uh, some cables here and there and came up with this. Okay. This is from three days of working behind the cabinets here. And I thought, well, you know, I'm also going to get uh, a more streamlined power strip. And I got this on Amazon. This is uh, their Amazon Basics. It's a 10-gang outlet, four of them, widely spaced for a big transformer plug. Actually, I'm looking. It's and 12. eight of them kind of gang together. I, actually, I don't oh, yeah. know why they ganged them so close together when they had all this space, but uh, that's what they did. They are also locking outlets. So... If you're not going to use them and you want to keep dust out or you, just, you have kids and you don't want them to play with, there's no plug, you can lock them with that. Now, the funny thing is when I was plugging in the first plug, I thought, wait a minute, it must be locked because this plug doesn't want to go in. And then it turns out that you have to push hard to get the plug in. But what is good about that is if you mount it, it has uh, screw holes on the side, so you can flesh mount it against the wall. Plugs are not going to fall out. They really, look at this. I can hold this by that plug. So that's pretty good. The cable that comes with it oh, is really wow. a heavy-duty cable. This is pretty good. And it is protecting you with 4,323 Joule Energy Rating. And let's plug it in. So you basically, you should try and plug this directly into a wall. I'm plugging it into another power strip uh, just because we have it here at the top of the desk. When you do that, you get two oh. sets of lights. The, this one says protected. And this one says connected. Oh, no, grounded, right? Right. It says grounded. Okay. <laughs> protected, grounded. And I thought, wait a minute. Grounded. What if we cheat? <laughs> okay. I've done this before, too, where you plug in. You don't have a grounded outlet, so you put in a little cheetah plug. So now let's see if it notices it is not now. It is not. Oh, look at this. The suspense. It's protected. It's protected. But grounded when Ooh, it's out. off. So that's good. All right, so it does recognize grounded also uh, it has a built-in uh, circuit breaker and the circuit breaker is part of the on off switch okay so if there's a short or something and it sh uh, shuts off it'll pop the switch to off and clicking the switch back to on again will uh, reinvigorate 
<laughs> and it's a 15 amp. And remember, uh, uh, as we learned from in the past, if the protected light goes out, you should get a new power strip because it is no longer protecting. So this is uh, a good way to know that that has happened. If, if it's uh, struck by lightning or something, this will protect it. And it's UL approved, which we like. Also, I asked Dennis when it first came, his guess, his guess was, what was it, 30 bucks? Mm. Uh, it is really inexpensive, 20 bucks, 19.99. And I bought the one with an eight foot cord. If you need a longer cord, it's just um, two bucks Then you're more. crazy. Uh, $22 <laughs> for the same device with a 10 foot cord. And if you don't need this, they make a mini version down here, okay? Up, up, mini up. version is $15 and it is how many outlets? Oh, it's eight outlet power strip. What, uh, what is it? $34.98. If you buy both of them oh. together, okay? So, and the little one just has a six foot cord. So, you know, for the extra five bucks, I would get the, the big guy here. And on Amazon, let me just go back up again because I think it got really good re uh, reviews. 4.8 out of 5 stars. So that's really decent. The Strip Surge Protector from Amazon Basics. That is uh, this is a fancy uh, the, surge protector. Holy isn't God. that neat? Isn't I that like neat? the yeah. LEDs that indicate if it's protecting and, and grounded. And yeah. Now, I realized uh, one thing that might account for the $20 is unlike, I think I did one a couple of weeks ago, it was like $35, but it came with a $50,000, if your equipment gets fried, uh, we'll pay for it if you can jump through about 50 pages of loopholes. Uh, this one doesn't offer any sort of a, a warranty. But still in all, first of all, I think it's very good looking. It's very yeah. low profile. Uh, UL approved, heavy duty cable. I like the way those uh, uh, indicator lights, it's easy to look under the table and see that they're both on. Yeah, I 100% agree. It makes me want to replace my current strips that I know about, um, that I use all the time, uh, with this one. I yeah. Really, really like it could, that. This could be your current favorite. <laughs> My current favorite. It's pretty good. That sounds like an episode title to me. Uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, Our current go. favorite. Our yeah, current favorite gadgets. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I think this is this is fantastic. Um, I, my biggest issue with getting like a power strip that I've thought of ahead of time. Is I always need a power strip and then I just go to Walmart and buy one, like immediately. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. You know, it's very rare that I pre plan to have a power strip. But if I'm like you, about ready to organize an area, this might be, uh, this is definitely what I'm going to uh, aim for the next time when, if I know I need one. That's yeah. nice. Um, okay, and our final uh, gadget also uses, I think, a single LED. Ooh. When someone sent me an email about the flashlight that runs on water, I had to have one. There it is. The Hydrolite runs on water, no batteries needed. It's a two-in-one flashlight and lantern. Okay, well, the thing I like about it most of all is its convenient size. This is good for pocket <laughs> purse pickup truck a big gulp wheelbarrow <laughs> oh my gosh all right so we're gonna see remember the works zip what's it zip Z snip oh yeah zip snip okay all right so this holy cow Look at this guy. All it right. can double as a weapon. Yes, Operating it could. instructions, runs on water, no batteries needed. It's a flashlight and a lantern up to 100 hours on a single water dip. To reuse, simply re-dip the fuel cell. And the fuel cell can provide up to 300 plus hours of light. 
with multiple dips. Uh, I know some dips. I'll have to invite them over. Um, remove the fuel cell. There better be two fuel cells in here. There isn't. I paid extra money for a second fuel cell. Damn. Uh, remove the plastic wrap. So we just slit the plastic and dip it for 10 to 12 seconds. It's in water, 10 to 12 seconds. Uh, bum bum, well, that's waiting for. Runs on regular water, distilled water, salt water, that's good for the boat. Any water, up to 100 continuous hours, okay? Remove the bottom, take this, uh, remove the plastic wrap. We did that. Immersion water, 10 to 12 seconds to generate power. Uh, shake out the excess water. Insert the fuel cell with the uh, cell facing forward. How do you know which is forward? Uh, and turn it on. Okay. Um, I have an arrow. Okay. So we're shaking it out. Actually, it's like not much to shake out. Uh, 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 um. Boy, this is pretty exciting. Ah. No, I guess not. If you lick it, it'll Put it in power and itself. The arrow. Okay. This is pretty exciting stuff. Oh my oh, wow. god! <laughs> Holy cow! We already have. <laughs> is this what the astronauts use? No, we're going to do what <laughs> is crazy. Follow me into the bathroom, okay? Bum, 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 bum. Hang on a second, because I'm going to shut the lights off. So you can be astounded. Okay. It's time to sell ghost stories. Actually, yeah. this is not too bad. There's All a right. robot right there, Dick. Let me see what I have here. <laughs> I have the dollar. He's flash. looking at us. What's Wait, does that picture flash? frame have a camera in it? <laughs> All right, that's the buck flashlight. This is the $22 flashlight. You know, for an emergency. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then pull up <clears throat> on it. Oh. Mm. And you have a lantern. All right. Actually, this works a little better than I thought. Does it have an on-off switch? I wonder how this compares. It does. How, how many does? hours to get in there? Okay, so according to the instructions, you get 100 hours out of it. Out of one charge? Out of one charge, okay? Although, <laughs> because you get them all at once. I watched one review where the person said... They left it on overnight, and the next morning it was so weak you could hardly see anything. <laughs> um, another thing is, in one of the reviews on Amazon, the person said, guess what? It's not until you read the fine instructions, I don't see any fine instructions, that you learn this can only be used three times. <laughs> this is a lot to throw out. Uh, after three times. So the good part is they say the shelf life is 25 years with it unused. So that could be good in an emergency. Uh, the bad news is you can only use it three times. Uh, also, Every so um, you know what I think I'll do? I guess I'll just leave it on overnight and, and we'll see how long it does last. We've got 3.8 out of five stars. From 352 people, that's that's kind of good. Uh, where do you buy the refills? One star. <laughs> Beware it oozes white liquid. A total scam. <laughs> I wasted my time and big money. <laughs> you better sit down. It's not very bright. It stayed on for 25 minutes before it died. Jump. And yet it got 3.8 stars. <laughs> I, I, I may keep it on the boat. Uh, because in a total emergency, the fact that you could dip the energy cell uh, into salt water is good. And, all right. It looks blue, doesn't it? Look mm -hmm. to the ceiling. It seems to get weaker. <laughs> <It's>, yeah, <laughs> it does seem to be dying. <laughs> You know, it... it, it Quick, spit I think on it! it is dying. <laughs> you know, it, it's... Now it's... Yes, it's... I'm dying! <laughs> I'm dying! It is getting weaker. Oh. You need strong water. <laughs> All right, so... 
You need vodka. You need yeah. gin. <laughs> gin. It could be a flask. And then when this goes out, you can suck on the cell. <laughs> on the fuel cell. Uh, all right. Um, you know, I can't call it a total piece of crap, but it. I would give it's it close. <laughs> two and a half stars. If I were rating it, I'd give it two and a half stars. It is dying. Uh, that's it. Okie dokie. All right. So now it has been... Almost 24 hours since I shot that video. And <laughs> that looks pretty dim. I could shine it actually right into the camera. I, f- I feel like a uh, a Christmas light would be a little bit brighter than that. <laughs> yeah, it's I, I th- actually think I'm going to send mine back. First of all, I got cheated because you could pay an extra two and a half to three dollars to get two fuel cells. And I did not get, uh, did not get them. Yeah. So one fuel and, cell is nineteen thirty nine, and then two fuel and, cells is twenty one ninety nine. So. Uh, and then if you just like, want to buy two fuel cell cells. Oh, you know they they bucks. didn't have these. But what? Yeah. You're basically fuel cells <laughs> are twelve bucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> Now, and what I would assume, fuel cell technology being, um, when you dip it, you could have the light on or off. It's, it's not like it's a battery. That, that it's just, chemical, oh, yes. can, that chemical reaction is just going to go. So if you have it turned off, it's, you're just wait, you, you couldn't have it turned on and you'd be having light if turned off. It's not like you're saving any energy. It's just, it's still going. Oh, you know what I mean? It. So another, yes. Is, so once you soak it. Yeah. You got a hundred hours. To, and yeah. You have to use a hundred hours in a row. Yeah. 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 And this is, tw- this is after 24 hours. <laughs> we recorded this last night at 10 o'clock. So this is 23 hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, I would, I'm reducing me to one and a half stars. Yeah. I'm giving it one one star for a protective view uh, so to hit somebody with it in case you get attacked. <laughs> and I'm getting a half a star for the graphics. That makes it look like it might be do something more than it does. Yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> no I am not a fan LEDs. of the Hydra lamp. No. Uh, okay. Well, with that. Let's move into. Oh ooh. my gosh, you have a new uh, no, category. You we it, do. Who? But you might find it at <laughs> Chad's yes. Crappy Corner. <laughs> Get it. I'm coming back with nothing because we're going to keep the suspense going for just a moment. Uh, we asked the patrons what yes. they would like for the next theme. We had emergency gadgets, one handed okay. gadgets. And transportation gadgets. And the winner is, drum roll please, emergency gadgets. Ran away with it. So oh, Dick, okay. in a thousand years, in a million years, would you ever guess what my gadget would be that I would review on the show? Um, a life jacket? I'll give you a hint. Oh, you, you didn't. I got the hydrolite. <laughs> I got one too. Oh my, uh, and you got, you got, I got the, the exact extra- same one. Um, I saw this at Walmart and I thought, perfect emergency gadget. It has 300 hours of power. We got the same. We came to the you know the party what? wearing this the is, same dress. This is the first time. I think this is the first time this has ever happened. And in <laughs> hundreds, uh, let, me, let me just see how many shows we've done together. Now my uh, fuel cell is still wrapped, so a part of me feels like I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep this as an emergency gadget and keep it around. Um, oh, that is. <laughs> oh, you know what? They're packaged different. Mine. So this mine one might did be not packed. show that. Uh, yeah, mine, mine, mine might not... be packaged for uh, Walmart. 
Oh, okay. Because mine, the fuel cell was inside. And I yeah. thought, I didn't know what size the fuel cells were. And I thought they had put two in here. So I got cheated. No. Well, this is, I got cheated too, because this was 20 bucks at Walmart. And there's no fuel cell inside. So I only got one fuel cell too. You only got one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is a, hold up your, uh, is, is the flyer the same? Is the exact same. Oh, this is the exact same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here. Uh, uh, is the, the uh, this so, thing the same? <laughs> this is a here, riot. Yeah, I think so. It says two in one. Here, I'm going to hold it up. Oh, no, here. you have a different thing. Is it? Is it slightly different packaging? Yes. Oh, yeah. See, I have that little guy, but he's over here. Yeah, so and the, and yours the, says 300 hour. It's different packaging. Yeah, yeah. See, mine has a big 300 hour up to because it can be dunked three times or whatever. Yes, yes. Dip exactly. in any water. Um, well, so, so dip three times means that uh, once you dip it, the chemical reaction will go for 100 hours and then stop. And then you can dip it again. And use it, and it'll run for 100 hours and stop, and then dip it again in 100 hours, and then it's out of chemicals. Right, right. Okay. Right. Simply re-dip water for more light, um, twist the bottom off. So, I mean, plastic. that is really uh, a terribly deceptive thing. I, I'm glad you pointed that out, that yeah. I kept thinking, well, it's getting dim because... I it's left on. it on for what, no. 24 hours, but it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it basically. doesn't matter. Like that was once the you, issue. Once you dip we, it. We, uh, at Twid, we reviewed fuel cell products before. And what a lot of them would do is they would, they would marry the fuel cell with a normal battery. And so the fuel cell would run hundred, you know, just, just what they do. Oh, that's a great use. And then it would charge up the battery. And that's not, this does not have any battery included. So, will just go you could turn the thing on or off doesn't matter and after 100 hours it's just done now and then it's sad because what you're seeing is it, la it doesn't last 100 hours it might be 100 hours it gives you a lumen of light yes after 100 i just want to say I, 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 I i'm sure they put it in the cell somewhere and someone says run down and see if you can see any light at all yep well, I think we're doing people a real service. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, well, see, so you are going to keep yours. I was thinking about it. Is is <laughs> I've already opened it. See, I pre-opened in the packaging. What I was expecting to do was was open it and then dunk it in live and and you know experience well, it. Or whatever. Well, now that you know, I would not. If you're going to keep yeah. it, certainly don't dunk it because you'll save yourself a hundred hours. Yeah, exactly. Um. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, and you have a little yellow clip on the end too, right? Yeah, I got this. Like, yeah. Oh, so they're definitely the same device. They're just right. packaged slightly different. Packaged different. And uh, now mine was in the as seen on TV section. This, oh, so mine was. Apparently, mine was just, this was as seen on TV. Oh, oh, do we have the ad? Let's, yes, I think I actually did find the ad uh, right here. So let's watch the Hydrolite commercial together. Every so often, there is a breakthrough in modern technology. Now, for the first time, there is a flashlight that runs on water. There are no batteries and no charging. It simply runs on and no light after a hundred hours. You just remove the revolutionary hydrocell fuel cell and immerse it in water. When water enters the fuel cell, that is in that is bad pack. Place the fuel cell yep, do for 15 in the hydro light, and you have an impressive flashlight. The hydro light can be switched on and an off like a regular ad. flashlight, and can run up to 100 continuous hours on a single water dip. Oh, water can dip run 100 continuous hours. hours. Yeah. With a That's oh. Coating, the hydro light is rugged, durable, and. I like how they rush. actually showed it getting crushed. This is this is a, seems like it's not durable. Based off of that moment, <laughs> it's getting crushed right there. Durable and made to last. It can safely be used in even the worst weather conditions. But the high like rain. More than just a flashlight. By extending the barrel, it becomes a hands-free lantern that supplies light to the entire area. With a handheld light, you need one hand to hold the light. But with a high <laughs> 
hands free. It's perfect for outdoor camping activities. Oh my God. It can even hang inside your tent. It's perfect for your. Oh, you know, I just, uh, uh, you uh, just free freeze it there for a second if you can. Okay, and now just cut to what what it looks like after 24 hours. <laughs> Let me just hang on. That's just, sad. <laughs> not quite the glow. Yeah. This You're not going to go work on your car. No, with the but the, you know what you brought up is just astounding. Yeah. And, and, and they get by it by saying a hundred continuous hours. You can't, right. like you said, turning it on and on. I was thinking a hundred hours, my gosh, that that's years of using a flashlight. No, but it turns it's, out it's what five days, a hundred hours less, after yeah, like, you dip it and then you're yeah. done and yeah. for that dip. That's yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you August still got, you're going to keep yours, right? I think I'm, I mean, okay, the, no, the, uh, to yeah. me, okay. It might be a crummy flashlight, but it shelf life is 25 years, which is yeah, way longer true. than a battery. And because yeah. I haven't dipped this yet, it's see, yeah. I don't you think have yours whole... would last twenty five years now. I don't think. I don't know. Would it? Yeah, you know, you're right. Last? I don't. know. I'm probably just going to send mine back, and I, I might send it back and order another. You know, because on Amazon, you can't write in and say, "Can you send me one fuel cell?" Because right. I paid for it. You know. So I guess. I think it's gotten weak. I think it's gotten weaker since we started talking. It'll be gone by the end of the episode. <laughs> yeah. Well, we learned a lot. I, I yeah. mean, Pre yeah. PC uh, guys saying that, what I'm saying. The chemical reaction does not stop simply because you turn the flashlight off. Yeah. So the chemical reaction continues to go for a hundred hours until. See, I didn't even remember done. that. So I'm I'm glad that we did this. <laughs> So if I'll you're thinking of buy in 25 years, I will test this again and we'll see. <laughs> That's the well, other okay. thing. How do, how do they know? How do they know? They didn't test oh, yeah, it. No, they absolutely, definitely didn't. Yeah, absolutely they right. just assume that the half-life of one of the ingredients will last for 25 yes. years or whatever. Yes. Oh. Uh, oh, that's very funny. Morris Angel said that Martin, Morris Angel has a, a good slogan for them. Once you dip, you just can't quit. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh -huh. okay. Well, th well that we'll, was my crappy we'll, corner. We'll, we'll, yes, yes. Now, we'll count that as a gadget. You <laughs> bought it. You never, you know, this just shows that there is no rehearsal. For no. <laughs> no rehearsal in this show. We don't get on our phone and go, now, what do you think, Chad, if I do this? And Chad says, have... no, I was thinking that. I No. No. So, we don't have a anyway, five-year plan. Time, we don't even have first... a five-minute plan. <laughs> No, that's correct. But we've been doing the show together for what? Eight years or something. First time ever, ever, ever. that we ever. came up with the same gadget on the same day. That's yeah. a right. That's a right. Yeah. Well, with that, hopefully our warehouse isn't the same gadget. That'd be embarrassing. <laughs> uh, we'll move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy When gadgets pass away He takes them out to play In this gadget warehouse Log on um, Okay, Jeffrey Slomovich Jeffrey, I probably always murder your name. Uh, Jeff's done. This might be his third video. I wanted to send you a YouTube video for the gadget warehouse that my son and I filmed. Uh, we call it a blast from the past. And Jeffrey, here's Jeffrey and Adam's video. I think his son is Adam, I'm pretty sure. Hey, Dickie D and Chad. Well, this is one of my gadgets that I love. I picked it up at a garage sale. It's called Trick Dog Mechanical Bank. And my son Adam's going to demonstrate it. Adam, you basically put the penny in the dog's mouth push the little lever and of course it goes so fast wow. but the money <laughs> that's fast that fast is yet. fast now this is almost like two kind of gadgets that i kind of like the reason i'm showing you this is kind of the evolution um i do miss and i have to admit radio shack um i remember oh, growing yeah. up my parents took me there i was like a big treat 
Um, and then we went from this to Robbie the Robot. Yes. Oh, how funny. Oh, how funny. Um, you guys, your audience definitely probably have seen this before and you kind of know what's about to happen. I assume um, he's going to eat it. Zoom in. It's called Radio Shack Robotic Banker. Adam, please demonstrate this. Well, Lost I never pennies. saw that. Yup. It does a little dance. <laughs> Shakes around. Sticks out his tongue, saying yummy. <laughs> oh, that's, roll back oh, in that's his head. funny. Um, great, great little toy. Um, and again, with the demise of Radio Shack, it's a nice shelf piece that I picked up recently at the garage sale, even though I did have one growing up um, years ago. But I just wanted, again, to show them side by side. We have the Trick Dog Mechanical Bank. And, of course, we have Robbie the Robot. Great little um, nostalgic devices that I have on display in my home. I wanted to share with you and your audience. Keep up the great work. Love your show. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. That is awesome. Uh, and Jeffrey. little known fact that uh, Penny actually goes into a lemon solution, which will power the robot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, uh, Jeffrey, nice. thank you. I, I never saw that little robot. That robot's yeah, uh, very cute. That's the cute. first time I've seen that. Yeah. Uh, so, Jeffrey, you'll get the current issue of uh, Mad Magazine and an Alfred E. Newman uh, photo. And we're looking for more videos. Okay. Video on any kind of gadget, like those uh, banks. That was a, uh, a, a fun video. A little uh, one to three minute video. Put it on YouTube. You can click on listed if you uh, don't want people to just stumble on it. Send us the URL to mail at gizwiz.tv. And if you live in the States, you got a Mad Magazine and a now 39-year-old Alfred E. Newman picture autographed to you. If you live anywhere else uh, outside the U.S., I'll autograph a photo to you, send you a high-res image to print out uh, at your end, and no one will know the difference. Uh, just horizontal uh, frame, and hope we can hear you. And that's it. Mail at gizwiz.tv, and I think that might have been our last video. So get a video in. Send them in, folks. With that, let's move on to the letter. Become the letters. Your lovely letters. Become the Gizwiz letters now. Now. Okay. Uh, our letter is from, oh, from Merce Angel. Uh, Gabe, who's in the chat room. Uh, nowadays, people have their own favorite app. They play on their devices. When I was younger, I had a favorite app. Grandfather and I used to play this all the time. The computer we played on was the Casio Calculator with a blackjack game. A calculator is technically still a computer back in the day, and the blackjack game was our form of apps that they have now. I was playing the game once, and I let my grandfather know I found the glitch in the program, I found whenever you were dealt a hand of two cards that were less than 10, you could stand. If you play cards, you know what that is. You could stand and you will automatically win. Weird. I guess even with calculators, there were bugs in the programs. Here's a picture of the, the computer. Oh, my Another gosh. Radio it's from Shack. Radio Shack. Yeah. Oh, how funny. Uh, here's a picture of the computer, in quotes, where I played my favorite app, uh, Merce Angel Gabe. That is so funny. Yeah. We have two two uh, Radio two Shack radio things, Shack and things. we both bought the same flashlight. We should call this <laughs> the dupe show, the twin show or something. Exactly. That is a riot. That is so funny. I, I also just love how... I. I guess I feel like nowadays things come so fast and so quickly. You don't really spend time much with like anything. And so like you had like this one thing that you just messed around with enough that you found the bugs in. Like I feel like that almost never happens. It's like, oh, I play around with it for a little bit. Okay, on the next thing. Oh, I'll play around with it on the next thing. You never have, you don't have enough time to find out. You get dealt two cards under 10 and you stay and you win. It's so silly. Yeah, that, yeah, that, it's great. No, I also love it sometimes when a manufacturer calls and says, you know, uh, can we send you this thing and um, you can keep it for three days and learn how to use it and then do a video and then send it back. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, who has time to learn all these gadgets, especially yeah. like that picture frame you had last week? I, I loathe it. 
<laughs> where there are two buttons that yeah. do 19 things. I know. And, and, and I remember some weeks back we had a, a clock. I forgot the company. And the guy said, one of the things that we did in the redesign from readers' comments was we put two more buttons back in because they hated having to go through so many buttons just to get the uh, adjust the time up or down. Yeah. <laughs> they just and wanted the an up is, button and a down button. I feel like companies should always do this because I will 100% spend like 15, 20, 30 dollars more for a product that has a screen that ha I mean it could be hundreds of dollars more for a product depending on the product for, that has a good user interface that I know is not going to frustrate the heck out of me and it's going to get the job done because I can tell that my settings are correct. Um, yes. If, yeah, I actually probably have a, a product. Um, I bought uh, some uh, uh, some scooters, some electric scooters. Specifically, bought one that was more expensive because it had a better display, and I could understand what was going on with it a lot better. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. It's so frustrating that people don't know that. And I mean, and just look at how many buttons are on this calculator. This is a perfect device, really. Yeah, <laughs> love it. Okay, thanks for the letter. Very good. With that, thank let's, you, Gabe. Uh, big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. If you enjoy this show, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. To those of you who have supported, thank you so, so, so much. Either, either if you have supported in the past, you're supporting right now, or you're going to support in the future, big thank you. Thank you so much for your generosity and helping keep the gizwiz afloat. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. If Patreon is not your deal, you don't want to give reoccurring, you can give via PayPal one time over on our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab and scroll down and find the PayPal link. Hey, play What the Heck Is It? I teased it at the beginning of the show. The theme has ended by the time that this episode goes public and goes live, but we still don't know what it is because we are recording this episode early. So, uh, and also, I haven't gone into the possible <laughs> what the heck is it box. He hasn't gone in the warehouse. He even pick something out. out. So, and then I and then it. I take pictures of it and I bring Dennis in and I go, "What the heck is it?" And if oh, he comes up with some wild guesses. guesses, then I know, oh, this is going to be a funny, uh, a funny gadget to use. That is good. So, I but the next few. time we record, we'll. I could almost come up with a few, but. Most of mine have all been on the Gizwiz, so I feel like someone oh, will know, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know no. what that gadget is. Uh, I'm kind of looking around at my gadgets now, <laughs> wondering, wondering if I can help you out a bit. Uh, so hey, get a guess in over gizwiz.biz. While you're over there at gizwiz.biz, you can read articles about all the gadgets that we talked about, and also find Dick's blog and log, which is where you can find information out about our fantastic meetup happening September 29th in New York, New York. Please join us. It would be fantastic if we had you there. Uh, what time does it start? Two? Uh, it's going to be from 2 to 4.30. You're going to be there. Moe's coming. Uh, Myra's going to be coming. there. Myra's going to be there. Josh is going to be there. A lot of your fr uh, uh, fans are going to be there. It's going to be super. So please, super. if you want to join us, please just uh, RSVP by sending us an email, letting me know that you're coming. Uh, it doesn't have to be fancy. Just let us know that you're no, coming. Yeah, just how many in people you're going to bring. Yeah, subject line, coming plus one, coming plus yeah. 10. 15, right. yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, just email it to the show, mail at gizwiz.tv. That'll be super helpful. And also head on over to gizwiz.tv. You can watch the show live. Live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. If we have a schedule change, it'll be at the top of the website, and you can uh, schedule accordingly. But when we record live, you can join in the chat room, hang out with all the other fans. It's a fantastic time. So please join us live. If you don't catch it live, don't worry. You can download after the fact at our website, gizwiz.tv. We have all of our previous episodes there, or iTunes, YouTube, or we can we have an RSS feed for you guys to uh, subscribe in the podcatcher of your choice. That about wraps it up for this episode of the Gizwiz. Oh, we should mention we're going to stream part of the sh uh, part of the meetup. Yes, we okay will... because people in the chat room are saying, "Oh, I can't make it. I can't make it." Yes. Did you call me? No. 
Uh, oh. Sorry, uh, Dennis thought there was an emergency. No. Um, <laughs> all right, so <laughs> no emergency, and I'll be here. I'll be here. D-